what's up everyone and welcome to the channel today's video is going to be uh, slightly different than uh, normal videos in that it's not going to have anything to do uh, specifically with my Hellcat um, but it will uh, deal with my uh, slightly older and definitely more used um, 2002 uh, Dodge Ram 1500 uh, pickup truck um, specifically what I'm going to be doing is working on trying to restore the headlights uh, I've watched some videos online um, you know the prescribed method is to start off with uh, you know very uh, you know rough sandpaper uh, combination of dry wet sanding uh, going from say 500 grit all the way up to 3000 grit uh, to kind of get the lens cleaned and then uh, you know come back in with some kind of either compound or polish uh, to get the fine scratches out from the sandpaper and then you know do a final uh, polish and a seal with a sealant or something along those lines. Um, that process, uh, you know, depending on your your abilities and and how well it goes and how easy it goes, uh, you know, it could be minutes to you know hours. And you know, my luck would have it is that it would take days. Um, so I also found some other videos online where individuals were actually using mothers. Uh, mag and aluminum polish as a single one step on and off kind of thing and it looked like they got uh, very good results um, and I mean you when you watch their videos it appears that you know we're talking you know possibly you know five minutes maybe to do the whole thing um, so that's what I'm gonna try today I'm gonna try uh, using the mother's polish on my uh, truck lights and and see how that goes. Um, so to do that, uh, I did get the polish. I uh, got this off of Amazon. Um, I'll leave links in the description uh, for uh, the polish itself. I'm sure you can find it in almost any automotive store. Uh, I use a lot of Amazon Prime, so that's why I went that route. Um, to help with that, I also bought um, a pad kit. So uh, this also came from Amazon. I'll put a link to this as well. Uh, it had a three mail, uh, three inch backing plate, a collection of three inch pads, and then the uh, adapter to use in your um, drill of choice. Uh, for this particular endeavor, I'm going to be using my uh, trusty old cordless um, DeWalt. Um, this thing got to be at least 10 years old. Uh, this battery I tested, it seems to be charged. Who knows how long it'll hard, hold a charge. So this may uh, be rather fun. Um, and as a backup plan to that, because I really didn't know if I trusted that, I also went and bought, uh, let's see if I can get this open without making this ridiculous. So, I also purchased at the same time that I got that pad set and the polish. Um, holy crap, this is ridiculous. There we go. I think I've spoken too soon here. Oh. Alright, there we go. I also bought. <clears throat> couple of uh, three inch discs or uh, three inch backing plates um, to use on my Chicago electric uh, dual action polisher um, that way if the battery or the uh, the drill fails or the battery fails um, can't get it to spin fast enough whatever the case may be I do have a backup plan to use my actual uh, dual action polisher to uh, finish this process so um, Again, we'll see how this goes. I'm gonna go outside and get everything set up. Uh, I'll show you what the lights look like now, and uh, I'll do uh, probably one light on camera, and then I will uh, do the second light off of camera and then show you a finished product. So, stay tuned. Okay, before getting everything set up and getting this started, I did wanna let you guys see uh, what the headlight looks like now. You can see there's definitely a lot of yellowing and, and discoloration um, one thing I do want to point out is you can see uh, you know through this area here and uh, through this area here um, I actually already worked on this a little bit before 
Um, I use, I was using some wires, uh, I forget which exact product was, but it was one of those uh, polish and swirl removers uh, all in one. You know, I was using a three, ha uh, three inch pad, uh, but I was doing this all by hand. Um, so you can see, I was able to get a little bit of the lens cleared uh, doing that method. Uh, but you know, you can see the uh, bottom is still pretty horrible. Um, you can actually feel a difference in the lens, you know, when you rub on it and you can feel how this is actually does feel a little bit polished, whereas this is definitely pretty rough. Um, so that's the uh, passenger side and then uh, coming around um, to the driver's side. Um, again, I did a little bit of work with the Meguiar's up through here, uh, but as you can see, the, the bottom is still uh, quite nasty. So uh, I think these will be a good test for the mothers to see if it actually works um, like it appears to in the other videos I've watched. Um, when you do this, uh, if you're worried about your, your other paint and stuff, uh, you know, you can use painter's tape on the, the body panels and, you know, that kind of stuff. Um, as you can see, this, this truck, like I said, it's 2002 and it's got, I think, over 100,000 miles on it. So, uh, it's been beat to hell. So, I'm not really worried about the paint. So, I'm not going to be taping anything off. So, at this point, I'm going to get everything set up and then we'll get started. Alright everyone, so I've got everything set up and I'm going to go ahead and get started um, using the regular uh, orange uh, cutting pad, nothing special. Um, in the videos that I've watched online, they've put the mag polish all over the windshield as well as priming the pad, so I'm going to go ahead and take care of that now. on the pad, definitely have enough on the light. It's closed up. Okay. Get off real quick. All right, so you can see the pads primed. Stuff is on the light, so here we go. All right, I think that's enough for now. Let's go wipe this off and see what happens. See how this looks. Man, this stuff's everywhere. seems to be a lot better. I don't know if you can actually say that sound's actually going to come through on the video or not, but right there is still a ton of yellowing, and right through here is still a ton of yellowing. So it looks like I do still need to do some more work on this, so let's see here. down again see if that's made any difference <clears throat> oh man this stuff is getting slung all over the place I still am not feeling a lot of difference any difference actually I don't know the other videos I've watched make it look like this is the end all be all but I'll tell you what, it's just maybe it's just my technique, or maybe I need to use a more aggressive pad. I don't know, but so far, through here and here, 
there is still a ton of, of that feeling of discoloration and you know it's not smooth still pretty rough there um, especially right through there uh, let's see look on one more time on camera and I might uh, see what happens off camera and try to see if I can get this to work so here we go here's some more air like <sighs> still doesn't really look like that area is coming very clean I don't know, maybe I should use a little bit of a glass cleaner on it to see if that helps any or not but I mean at this point I got mixed feelings about this mother's mag and wheel polish process um, let's see here I mean it does look better than it was when I started um, you know definitely up top through here definitely feels nice and smooth uh, but when you get right here in between the you know the rounded areas of the lights right through here is still very discolored very rough in nature uh, and then down through here underneath is still same thing um, you know over here the edge feels kind of smooth but this right through here is all still very rough um, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and work on this a little bit more uh, still with the uh, the mother's polish and um, see if I can get this light uh, to clean up off camera um, either way whether it does or doesn't uh, I'll do a final summary on on how things went but uh, I'm sure any people see this it's very possible that uh, the reason this isn't going according to plan is more about technique uh, like I said maybe if I had a more aggressive pad on the drill uh, maybe that would help um, but We'll see what happens. Okay, so I've been working on the light with the mother's mag and aluminum polish, and uh, I can tell you it certainly has not been as short as uh, some of the others that have posted videos doing this method. Um, so, has it made the light better? Absolutely. Has it fixed it completely? Absolutely not. I don't know if the camera will pick this up, but through here there's still a lot of roughness on the lens up through here through the majority of the lens it's definitely a lot smoother and a lot clearer than it used to be but uh, down here there's still a lot of roughness over here there's still a lot of roughness I'm gonna pan around to the side hopefully you'll be able to see what I'm actually talking about there <clears throat> uh, up through here is still uh, pretty bad as well um, and then down around the curve here so uh, basically I would say probably about three quarters of this light is now uh, pretty clear pretty smooth um, you, know, you can see over here the whole reflector is showing um, just to give you a reminder of what it looked like here's the driver's side um, so you can see you know how how bad discolored this side is uh, so it looked it was a little bit better than what this looks like now when I started uh, but you can see that there is definitely a huge huge difference I mean I'm not saying that it's not doing anything uh, but it's definitely not uh, cleaning it completely and it's definitely not as fast as these other videos um, so just to give you an idea um, at this point in a second So at this point, um, that's how much of the product I've used just to do that little bit of that, or that one light, uh, and that little bit of, uh, 
you know, progress that it's been. Um, I did have to uh, break out my actual polisher and I decided to use the uh, the other orange cutting pad that had some texture to it. Um, I was hoping that having those uh, peaks and valleys in the pad would help um, get down inside here because I think that part of the problem is is with the shape of this light. Um, the pad's not, you know, hitting it correctly or I'm not getting the right angle with the polisher or whatever. But I mean, I've literally worked on this part right here for probably 20 minutes. I mean, I've reapplied product to the pad. I mean, I've gone over it and over it and over it. Um, I mean, I've actually gotten to the point that when I've taken the polisher off the lens, the lens is actually hot uh, because of working on this area so much. Um, you know, I have my polisher set at, thing, I think it's at 5, which on the Chicago Electric Polisher, I'm not sure if that equates to 5,000 RPMs or what, but, you know, the speed setting goes from 1 to 6, so 5 is, you know, 1 down from the highest setting. Um, so, you know, at the end of the day, I think it does work to some degree. I think your mileage is going to vary. I think it's going to depend on exactly how damaged the light is. Um, like I said, this truck is a 2002. It's got a, I think 105, maybe even 110,000 miles on it. The lights have never had anything done to them. So we're talking about a truck that's 15 years old, never had anything done to the lights. Uh, this truck was not maintained the way it should have been. Uh, you know, no, you know, numerous or no regular waxing, no regular cleaning, anything of that nature. Um, it's been worked or used as a as a work vehicle for most of its life. Um, so you know, if your vehicle isn't as old, or maybe doesn't have as many mileage, or doesn't have as much damage to the headlight, you know, the the mag and aluminum polish might be enough. Um, you know, it could also be something about the shape of the lens. Um, you know, I don't know if, like I said, because of the way the the way that pad was riding in here. I mean, I was trying to you know very carefully make sure it was getting these areas but uh in the end it just doesn't seem i don't i personally don't think there's enough of a cutting agent in the polish to actually get that stuff off the lens that's what i think i think that uh whatever abrasive or, or whatever you want to call it is actually in that mag polish um i just think that it's probably not as aggressive as it needs to be for the degree of or, uh, for the degree of restoration that these lenses need um, so am I saying it's not going to work no I'm just saying that in my particular case with what I'm working with or what I'm trying to restore here it did not work perfectly um, so with that what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually change the pad on the polisher and I'm going to go back to some Meguiar's uh, stuff to see if I have anything that's a little bit more aggressive um, and I might work on uh, trying to finish this lens up and then finish the uh, the other lens as well so hopefully uh, this has been uh, informative for you and uh, if so and you've enjoyed this uh, please subscribe to the channel thanks for watching okay everyone thought uh, I thought I was done with the video, but I figured I'd do one more quick update. Um, I went ahead and tried to use uh, some Meguiar's uh, product on this headlight. Um, what I actually used is uh, this right here, the uh, <clears throat> Mirror Glaze 83. Um, and uh, it really didn't do anything more than what uh, the mothers had already done. Still got the, the roughness there. Still got all the roughness and discoloration down here um I don't know if you see it better from the side it's getting a little dark out here so now but uh yeah so even the mcguire's uh swirl remover scratch remover whatever you want to call it that didn't work um, so i thought you know let's just try this on the driver's side and see what happens um so uh, you can see you know much like before, much like the other, the bottom half of these lights seem to be where the most damage is. Um, so this side is still uh, just as bad. You can feel up through the center of the lights there. You can still 
feel the texture there in the in the lens um, so for this light I actually started with the Meguiar's uh, tried some of the mother's mag and aluminum polish um, that didn't seem to do anything any more than what the Meguiar's had already done and just for sheer punishment I decided to try straight up rubbing compound so decided to try this turtle wax uh, heavy duty uh, rubbing compound and the same orange pads that I was using before and that was the last thing I did to this light and you can see even with the compound it's just not getting off this whatever this is um, I mean some people might watch this video and say well it's probably on the inside well if it's on the inside whatever damage was done on the inside has caused the lens to be able to I, I can feel it this isn't like smooth here this is rough I can feel whatever's wrong with this lens I can feel it on the surface of the lens um, same thing with this section over here um, so I don't know you know what the deal is nothing seems to have worked um, I don't know if I need a more aggressive pad um, like I said right now I'm using the orange pads uh, maybe I need one of the you know heavy-duty cutting uh, pads like a microfiber pad or a wool pad or something like that I don't know maybe these lenses are just so damaged there's just no you know getting, getting them back to you know even close to original factory shape you know ultimately I might have to actually do the whole you know sanding with sandpaper and you know go through that entire process um, but I figured I wanted to do one more quick update just to let everybody know um, you know again my experience with the mothers was that it helped but it did not get them completely clean um, and you know I thought maybe something with a little bit more aggressive cutting uh, to it like the Meguiar's or even the rubbing compound would uh, be more effective than the mothers but at the end it just seems like nothing is really getting these lenses uh, clean or you know polishing them or whatever you want to however you want to refer to this so thanks again for watching and please subscribe to the channel.